Hi, this is Hi Bob Poor Bob, and we're about to play some Ultimate General Civil War. Hello, and welcome back. This will be another episode of Ultimate General Civil War, Stone the River, and it is episode 5. This is still day 1. I will not be going on to day 2 because I encountered the bug. So I have all my men kind of making a swoop around here, and we are going to try to get this surround going along with getting these guys all wiped out as well. Okay, wish me the best of luck, and I'll see ya all throughout this one. Here we go. Getting everybody moving. Keeping everybody moving. Go ahead and go back that way. Go back where you came from. Seriously? Do you see that one? Just get ready to fire. For reals? Like, what's wrong with you right now? For reals? Like, that's a little better, I guess. Like, only considering the fact that it took you that long just to even fire a single shot. Besides that, well done, I guess. Okay, we don't want to move any further forward than that. That's for sure. We didn't want to move that far forward, even. Yeah, that, that, that's not what we're doing here. We're boxing them in, not getting ourselves killed. At least that's the goal. Today. Sorry about that. Had to pause it there for a second. I don't... Kn I will try to get it all cleaned up in post. Just wanted to let you know whenever I came back, just in case anything is a little bit odd. As things sometimes get odd whenever you have to stop and make... Oh, that makes me so mad. I don't want you to do that. I really don't want you to do that. It's such a waste of ammo. And so is that. Okay. Well, that is enough of that. That is for sure. Enough for a lifetime. Okay. Getting all those guys in there. Go ahead and get them up there a little ways. Okay. Maybe we should take him off and don't fire and don't fire on them. No, not worth it. Okay. That's worth it, I think. Feels worth it. That definitely felt worth it, too. Okay. Let's move all these guys individually, then. We can kind of get into place. And then tell them all to hold. And have these guys move in behind. There, 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 over there, and there. Really would like to push into there. Okay. 
snipers go for that. Scribner in the back there, that's good. Sorry about that. Another Windows 10 something or another. Okay. At least he went back in there, that's good. That is where I would like him to go back to. Okay. Okay, it's slowly getting worn away by artillery. That, I guess, works for now. No, stop firing at the supply wagon, you idiots! Wow, that's crazy. Holy moly, what just happened? Never seen that. I mean, they're all surrendering, this guy should too. Just saying. Keep having these guys moving down. That guy move it there, that guy move down, that guy move over there and there, and there. And that guy should be gone, right? Yes, okay. Man, that is going really well. Okay, now move those guys there. Not that guy. Move them there. Okay, and we'll see what guys we have left after this that need some place to go. Left that guy on run the whole time, I didn't mean to. Okay, move up there. So I've got about an hour left. By the time that clock ticks down, we need to already have that in place.
Okay. Let's get the snipers out of here. There's no more need for them to be at risk. Well, let's have him just shuffle over her. This guy come up like that. Okay. We need to start pressing in pretty fast, pretty soon here. Okay, I have about 20 minutes to capture that point. I have to start all over again. Get prepared up here because I'm going to try to push them this way. So, there's a chance they're going to try to come screaming through here. higher by the second.
Okay, I've gotta go capture it. Like, now. I have anybody that can break off anybody. Just kill him and not let him take this back like that is also super important everything else it's all gravy from here on out There's a small chance that if I like didn't take them all but left like one guy standing that maybe like well no I took them all out but I had like one minute remaining maybe I could get away with not capturing the spot, but, oh no, you moved. You weren't supposed to move. So, quit doing that. In six minutes, this is over, one way or another. Go ahead and start moving all those guys around behind. like he might not be touching any of his own men there's a chance just a very small chance see there we go okay sometimes just not touching just barely is enough it's only a sometimes but it does work at times you just have to be lucky There's victory. We lost one, two wounded generals. But besides that, we came out relatively unscathed. About, what, 6,400, 500 casualties? Only lost one gun. I think it's a 24 pounder, which I'm a little upset about, but not a whole lot I can do there. 
we were pretty evenly matched in everything but cavalry. You know, like, the amount of cavalry they had almost evened out our infantry. They had a few more guns than us, uh, but not too bad. And obviously, we completely slaughtered them. Absolutely and utterly in this battle. Sig I mean, we almost got a magnitude smaller casualties than they did. I'm a little sad about not being able to wipe out a few more men here, but I mean, not a whole lot I can do about that. Still got 7,000 captures, which is good. Captured several supply wagons pretty full yeah so that should be like 20,000 approximately did pretty good on harvest fairies got some Remingtons, 10 pounder parrots one 24 pound howitzer I mean it replaced the one we lost so I guess that works um, we're looking I'm a little sad about how many snipers I lost but it happens. Okay. But I am really excited about this. I mean, Major General, Major General, Major General, Major General, Major General, Major General, Major, Major, Major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine new Major Generals. I mean, that's, that's pretty ballin'. We got... Let's see what did they do we had two guys above 300 and after that everybody is below 300 that guy's pretty close but who's counting really of course we do have to look at our own men and see if any of the guys we captured did very well and they did not so and once again we have our list of guys that get under 100 kills and it's half their units get under 100 kills so we're looking pretty darn good we just make sure they never get to fire at us basically except whenever we're in extreme cover and even then we only let them fire once or twice break them back where they came if at all possible okay we're gonna look So we got an extra thousand men, of course. That is eight thousand men, and pretty close twenty-three thousand extra money from uh, supply. Pretty good. We had pulled some of the supply out of these guys just to spend a little bit extra money on some things. I think I bought like most of the infields that we could buy and things like that looks like we're rocking right along 67,000 I mean 6,700 uh, Harper's Ferries that's doing pretty good we can actually buy Harper's Ferries now I did not know we ever got to actually buy them we are gonna wanna buy well let's save it first I like to save it like just so that I have a save right off the bat without any changes being made. A lot of those saves were because I kept messing up and I kept um, having times whenever I would uh, do different things that would not allow me to uh, save. Uh, the second day, the second day bug. I forgot to save one time that I could have ended it and I had done really well. I think I had even less casualties than I did this time. And wiped out all but the last unit. It had 600 men left. And I was like, okay, I'm done. And then I go to the next day. And all the units are there. And I'm just like, you've got to be kidding me. And I was like, I meant to save. Right before the end. I meant to save. And instead, I just moved on. And I was like, can't believe I just did that. So we're going to go the last 
points into politics. So we've gone 10, 10, and 10. We're going to go 10 into economy, and then we're going to start putting into logistics. And after that, I don't know what we're going to do, because I'm not going to put a single point into reconnaissance or training. So I guess we're just going to have points just chilling, because I don't think either one of them are worth it. Well, I guess technically I'd probably pick, like, two points into reconnaissance at that point, because I'm not ever going to spend any money on training. I think it's worthless. I think that it's a waste of money and time and effort because it's it's just worthless. In my opinion. We do have two wounded Brigadier Generals. Man, he would have been a two-star if he hadn't gotten injured, probably. That is too bad. We still have a whole stack of Brigadier Generals, though, so we're doing pretty darn well on officers. I don't think I had any in my extra cores, but I mean, you can tell a lot of men, a lot of uh, a lot of two-star generals now in my main cores. So yeah, these ten-pounder parrots rank up guys real fast. It's kind of amazing. What is he? Why does he have discipline? I don't know what I was thinking there. But I guess it doesn't really matter, because I don't think this actually works, right, is what I was told. So. That's all our cores. This guy was the one that took the most damage, I think. 700 men. Lost. 754. 754, yeah, so he got like 50 back. With the medicine. And this guy took 603 which is pretty bad but everybody else I think did quite a bit better than that these guys were like 2400 each so there's a 300 and something but for the most part let's go ahead and put a general in there you know these guys had 2,300 I believe so like yeah 190 losses 60 losses overall not bad like what two losses yep and one of them got repaired by that's so cheap like it shouldn't round up for 20% medicine but I guess it does I don't know well, it has been a fun one, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.